what is going on everybody i know it's been a little while since i made a video and i've been making some reels and stuff like that in the meantime just to keep some people occupied but i did a lot of fixing on this thing this whole front end has been basically completely redone the steering the steering column right here completely redone and other than that i made this seat cushion out of two cushions some plywood and these little straps and this fabric I got at Walmart. So I'm gonna just go over a little bit what I did to this front end to make it better because as, I, as you can see, I don't have my tie rod in the front anymore because I'll get to that in a second. But anyway, yeah, I've been testing it and I just didn't really record all of the process beforehand because it was really time consuming to record and edit all of that. And I had a really late deadline because I was trying to fix some things and I ended up completely rebuilding the front end the day that I planned on having it completely finished. And I got it done by the deadline that I had because that night I was riding around at school at a trunk or treat thing that we were hosting. So I'll go over what I did to fix it. Well, my problem was these shocks couldn't really support the weight of my hubs and A-arms. And every time I would stand on it without my tie rod, my front end would cave into the ground and my tires would just shoot out from underneath it. And I uh, come to realize that my shocks were way too far past the center of gravity to the left. So that way it was really uneven. The shocks were way too um, damp in order to withstand that kind of pressure. So it just cave in every time. So that's what these were for. I extended both of these all the way out here and put my mounts for my shocks way closer to the hubs, even touching them now. So that way these shocks work 10 times better. No need for my tie rod. I can sit over 300 pounds on this thing and climb almost any hill I've ever tried. I've climbed any hill I've had with over 300 pounds on this thing. Me and a couple of my buddies, well, two people at a time, but I've taken a few of my buddies up some hills and stuff at their houses and just drove around on it. And now this thing's a monster. It's drove up anything that I want. It's top speed was 40 miles an hour with just me on it. And Honestly, that's pretty good for how much this thing weighs, which I would like to test. But yeah, the steering column, I had some tubing left over from my homemade bobber build that I do need to be making a video about here soon because I'm gonna re be redoing the rear end. But yeah, I used this tubing from it, made a adjust, not adjustable, but this mount up here so that way I can take off these handlebars if I wanted to put something else on it. And got the bearings in top and bottom made my new um mount down here for my tie rods which is much better because they're a little closer so it's a little it's a lot less touchy so i can drive fast on this thing without being worried so yeah i've been driving this a whole lot and oh yeah my new hubs these right here got those brand new from ebay i think it was and to fit these tires because the other ones i had were for basically like ATVs that had two different A-arms for a top and a bottom. And that's not how I was using it. So I got ones that I could use for these A-arms, just a single A-arm on each side. And it's been working great. I haven't had any problems with it. So this video is just gonna be some testing and just riding around. So we'll get right into the, the trail riding.
everyone, that's going to be it for this video. And stay tuned because I should be having another project to do here soon. Whether it's building another one of these, fixing the bobber, putting the dirt tires on the Suzuki. Well, I, I don't know yet. I need some suggestions on what I should build next because I'm open to anything right now. So I've been thinking about, I don't know, I want to, I really want to make a dune buggy or Sierra car out of like a Suzuki Jixer or maybe a Hayabusa engine. I really want to do that, but those are very expensive. So stay tuned for the next one. Give me some suggestions in the comments of what I should build next. And yeah, till then I'm just going to be riding this thing and well, fixing my drive pulley first because when I was pulling the deer out of the woods as you can see in one of the reels I uh I was pulling me my buddy and the deer which was in total about 450 pounds up this little hill and if it was just me and the deer it wouldn't have had any problems with pulling that much weight starting at the bottom of a hill and going up kind of burn up the, the drive pulley so it's not terrible, it's not bad. I can still drive it and everything. It just has trouble disengaging because the way these things work is as you're giving it gas and revving up the engine, the RPMs increase, which engages the plate on my drive pulley and it makes the, it expands the belt, making it tighter to engage the rear axle, I'd say. So that way, whenever you give it a bunch of gas, it engages that, it engages that belt so it's just having trouble disengaging when I'm letting off the throttle. So that's my problem right now. I can still drive it with this issue. It's just kind of like having a stuck throttle once you get in the lower RPMs, which isn't bad. It disengages like really hard though sometimes. So I'm gonna have to get a new one of those and they're pretty expensive, they're like 70 bucks. And they're all out of stock right now, everywhere. So I don't know how long that's gonna be. I'd really like to build another one of these and sell it. I just need people that are willing to buy one because this thing's reliable it's fun and i found the weight limit so don't pull 450 pounds but yeah i really like to build another one of these because i know i could i know how i could cut out a bunch of problems and make this thing very reliable so stay stay tuned for the near future and just wait for more builds so all being said thanks for watching like and subscribe